Yo, I'm Lonnie Stark. I guess I'm this universe's Tony Stark, and I'm gonna be building an Iron Man suit for DreamCon. There's a lot that goes into an Iron Man suit, and I'm gonna be documenting every step of the way. So if you wanna see what the final product looks like, go ahead and drop me a follow, leave a like on this video, interact in some kind of way, drop a comment. Let's get into the parts. Yo, before we jump into the parts, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Frankly Built for all the tutorials. Without you, dude, I'd be lost. And Crashworks 3D for the boards, those things are a lifesaver. Just to reiterate, my suit is gonna be 3D printed with PLA plus. It's more malleable at a lower temperature. So ABS, I could have used ABS, but with it having a higher melting temp, it's going to crack probably. All right, so we got the chest and back here. Um, even though these parts will connect, I have them separated. I am gonna motorize the back plates too. Next we have the abs. I have the um, actual abs section separated here. Then we have the lower back section here. That's my hips and my butt, you know. I got some wires, more of the components, and these are the Crashworks boards. So first we have the Alicia MKE, which is a smaller board that I'm gonna be using to power the helmet, um, the faceplate motorization. This one I'm probably gonna store in the actual helmet itself because it's so small. Next, we have the Alicia MKXD, which is a little bit of a larger board that I'm going to use to power the rest of the suit, as well as the motors on the back of the suit. And before I forget, I'm using this thing called a Penelope board, which actually is used to keep continuous power to the battery packs that I'm going to be using. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you made it this far, however... Go ahead and drop me a follow so you can stay up to date on the suit's progress. Make sure you check out Frankly Built for all the tutorials you could ever need. And also go ahead and check out Crashworks 3D. And get you one of these boards or get you two of these boards. Get you a Penelope board. They will make your life so much easier if you're trying to do this as a project. Yo, thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to catch you guys next time when I'm trying on some of the suit parts.